The Holy Qur'an is the primary source of Islam and the literal spoken word of God. The Qur'an is the only book in the world which contains the exact and pure word of God Himself. Hadith, meanwhile, is the second source of Islam. Unlike the Qur'an, the work known as Hadith was compiled and preserved by humans and not directly by God. While Prophet Muhammad was practicing and preaching the teachings of Islam and the Qur'an to his companions, his companions would report and record the words, actions, and beliefs of the Prophet. They were gathered by the companions of Prophet Muhammad and later by scholars who specialized in Hadith. These reports then were gathered and known to be called Hadith. In the Arabic language, Hadith, or a Hadith in its plural form, has a number of meanings. Hadith translates to mean speech, narration, report, or news. In the context of Islam, hadith refers to a narration or report that Prophet Muhammad said, did or approve. Hadith also refers to the Prophet's reaction to or silence in response to something said or done by others. Hadith is a body of report that constitutes speeches, discourses, statements, actions, sermons, teachings, sayings, actions, and approvals of the Prophet. Hadith also contains accounts of Prophet Muhammad's personal behavior, physical features, and character traits. Hadith also contains theology, doctrine, law, ethics, morals, manners, and more. Hadith also consists of commentary of the Holy Qur'an, which would help any reader to better understand the Qur'an. A hadith in plural help to answer any questions regarding details and specifics of the religion. The acts and practices of the Prophet are called Sunnah. Prophet Muhammad stands as a sacred model for mankind to emulate and follow, as he was sent by God as an example of how one should live life to the best of his or her ability. There has certainly been for you in the Messenger of Allah an excellent pattern for anyone whose hope is in Allah in the last day and who remembers Allah often. The term Sunnah linguistically means a path to pave the way, making a path easier and more accessible as it becomes more commonly followed by many in its wake. The term Sunnah is usually interpreted as the act of or example of the Prophet Muhammad. Muslims study and reflect upon Hadith to benefit from the prophetic knowledge transmitted to humanity in the form of these narrations. Hadith is preserved through the acts of memory, practice, and writing. Hadith was taught from a teacher who learned it from his teacher and ultimately can be traced back to the companion who took it from the Prophet Muhammad. Together, these people form the chain of narrators. The words and actions of the Prophet are found in different books of a Hadith. While some ahadith are criticized by its authenticity and fabricated ahadith stem from people with hidden agendas, no criticism is leveled at the Qur'an as it constitutes the exact word of God and is separate from hadith. Hadith was passed down and preserved with human intervention as opposed to the Qur'an which God guarantees to protect from all manner of human modification. Hadith is composed of two parts. The first part is known as the Isnad. The Isnad refers to the chain of people who narrated a particular hadith. The Isnad must be compressed of upright and sincere individuals whose integrity is unquestionable. Scholars of hadith impose strict qualifications on these narrators to ensure that every member of the chain of narrators is qualified to pass down the hadith. If one lacks credibility, then the hadith would be rejected. The second part of the hadith is the metn. The second part of hadith is the metn, which is the actual text of the narration. Like the Bible, hadith contain reports from individuals. However, the authors of the reports contained in the Bible are totally unknown. The reporters of the hadith are all known people and its chain of narration have been established by credible, honest individuals. Muslims do not follow the way of the Prophet as though he was some kind of demigod. Prophet Muhammad was a mere human being whom God chose to be his last and final Prophet. Say, I am only a man like you, to whom has been revealed that your God is one God. God commands people to follow his Prophet. Hence, following the way of the Prophet is akin to acting in obedience and submission to Allah. O you who believe, 
obey Allah and obey the Messenger and those in authority among you. And if you disagree over anything, refer it to Allah and the Messenger. If you should believe in Allah in the last day, that is the best way and the best in result. Prophet Muhammad never bespoke his own desire. He spoke only for what his master revealed to him when conveying the message. He does not speak out of his own desires. Quran 53.3